So in um, Professor R. Brian Ferguson's book, he says, the role of GG rubbing and bonding remains unclear. Now that is genitalia to genitalia rubbing. That's the primatologist term for the bonobos, uh, females that have mutual um, climax orgasms um, pretty much all the time. And they know it is to reduce tension. It's consistent with tension reduction but they did not find a correlation of GG rubbing and female aff affiliation. Females that rubbed were not significantly more likely to stay close or groom each other. In captive, in a captive study, mutual eye contact during GG rubbing and strength of bonding were inversely related. The more the eye contact, the weaker the social relationship. This is not to dispute that females bond, but it does prob problematize the tie between GG rubbing and bonding. Now, the problem here is that we are, as modern humans, we are projecting our bonding, social bonding, as the only type of bonding. But there's a different type of bonding that's a psychic, a psychic, um, um, psychic bonding that's not directly social. And so that psychic bonding occurs through the um, female mutual orgasm. And when you develop that psychic bond, you don't need to have the social bonding because the psychic bonding is stronger than the social bonding. And so that's what modern scientists don't understand because they don't know the physiological result of the connection between the female uh, orgasms and the psychic energy through the right side vagus nerve connection to the right side of the heart. So the right side vagus nerve connects to the cervix and then it goes up to the brain and then it goes to the right side of the heart. And as that energy builds up the dopamine of lust turns into serotonin and then the serotonin turns into oxytocin as love as a psychic bonding but then that turns into a non-local um, magnetic force and that's the opening of the pineal gland through the uh, vagus nerve energy building up from the heart, creating a magnetic field. Um, and so then they, they, the modern materialistic viewpoint is just to focus on the social bonding. So they talk about, well, the females actually, you know, dominate the males a bit when the bonobos and the, the males are not able to be as aggressive towards the females when the females do bond together. And, you know, they talk about that, but they miss the deeper um, psychic bonding that is based on the G to G rubbing. Um, we suggest that male intersexual aggression is incompatible with intersexual bonding. 
Um, so there's a deeper dynamic here, and if you look at the original human culture, the San Bushmen from 200, over 200,000 years ago, it's based on the same secret of the uh, female orgasmic um, bliss as the psychic bonding. Um, and that's only really, it's what Dr. Brad Kinney calls impersonal eroticism. And so that that's why the materialistic scientists, they cannot understand it. Um, and so extended A son's close association with his mother will result in closer contact to females in his mother's cluster. That's definitely true. I know that from personal experience. Um, well, that doesn't, not for mating for me, but for the psychic bond. Um... Okay, so Well, I'll just leave it at that. And So they're, they're confused. They're trying to figure out what is the purpose of the G2G rubbing and how does that connect to social bonding. But they're missing this deeper psychic um, secret of er impersonal erotic eroticism. So I'll have to read this more in detail. And I'm glad he focuses on the bonobos a lot. Male, female social dominance. Pegged to their mothers, males do not have the opportunity to form strong lines with other males. That's true. So, thank you, Professor 
R. Brian Ferguson. Um, sorry for the bonobo. <laughs> These bonobo photos are hilarious. So, gotta admit, 